This is a consumer message from Gina reloading from the hot pot. If you like videos like this, if you'd like to see good gun gear and accessory reviews, please consider to give a subscribe down here at the bottom. Maybe turn the bell notification on. Always give a like and please share. I got a little bit of a different view going on here. I'm trying out my new camera. That right there. And we're going to see how this does for this video. So I'm learning some settings on it and getting kind of acclimated to it. So here we go with this one. Oh, there will be a review coming on later on about the camera and my experiences on the pros and the cons of it. Well, my FFL has decided to close shop and he is going to venture to other things in life. So I've been going in and picking up a little bit of this and a little bit of that, you know, some discount deals because he just, he's getting rid of everything, clearing the house. So I picked up a Taurus G3 Tactical. So let's get this out of the case and take a look at it. First off, it comes in a very, very nice case. I'm very impressed with it. I mean, this quality of a case you only normally see with like an FN or maybe even a staccato. Uh, it's very nice, very nice zipper enclosures. This this uh, Velcro's over and clasped onto itself. Very stiff, it's very brand new. And then this unfolds. It's got high quality zippers on here, very easy to manipulate. Very pleased with it. But let's unzip this and we're gonna take a look at it. Now I've already had this out of the case and looked at it naturally. Who can wait? Really, who can wait? If they tell you they have it, well, maybe, maybe, maybe not. You know what I'm saying. So let's open this case up, and this is what you get inside the case. You get a nice little compartment for paperwork. You get the firearm that's strapped down into the case itself. In here is a lock and another recoil spring, and in here is the optics plates. I happen to have an extra magazine. Now, they only come with two magazines. I happen to have an extra G3 17 round magazine, so I have stashed that in there. So let's get this out one piece at a time and go over everything. The paperwork that came in it is this. This is the first piece. Uh, Taurus offers a limited lifetime warranty. So activate your warranty immediately. That I will do because I plan on keeping this firearm. Save $10 on a Taurus G3 qualifier holster. Now it is a nice looking holster. And I imagine if I ordered that for left-handed, I could actually turn that into a right-handed outer waistband holster. So I think I will do that because, well, it's $10 off and it is specifically for the Taurus G3. Here is the manual itself. So let's open this up, print it nicely, color-coded, everything is explained in it. All the specifications, the vices, all the warnings. You know, if you're a new firearm owner, you really need to read this. I'm not a new firearm owner, so I am very uh, acclimated and familiar with the safety and precautions of using a firearm, being that I do shoot competitively as well. Disassembly and cleaning of the magazines, disassembly and reassembling of the firearm. Uh, blown up schematic of it of the different optics plates and explanation of the optics plates and the screws that come with it and a, finally an exploded view of the firearm itself so let's go through the case let's pull this out one piece at a time first we're going to get the magazines out it's one magazine these are very nice magazines uh, they say made in Brazil they do have the, uh, the weld at the back of them. 
They are 17 round magazines, feature an orange follower, and this is a spacer that goes onto it so you do not over insert the magazine itself. This probably will go ahead and be a, attached to it in some way. I will figure out a way to attach that to it so this does not come apart. But here I have one, two magazines in the pouches. Over here, we have all of the optics plates and screws that come with this. This is very nice. Let me try to turn a little light on here. There we go. Very nice, nice metal optics plates. We'll go through them and we will be mounting an optic to this. Uh, just not sure which one I'm gonna put on it yet. Here we have a silica gel pack. Do not eat this. Not good for you. Dry your insides up. <laughs> In here, we have the lock and another recoil spray. And I'll show you why this is. Next, we get the firearm out of the case. It's got a very nice strap on the back here for the grip. And then the muzzle goes down into the case right here. So we're going to take this out and we're going to take a look, a look around. First, we're going to show clear. This is brand new and we still have the chamber flag in it. The magazine is empty. The firearm is obviously unloaded and clear. This is brand new out of the box. Let's go over this firearm a little bit from front to rear. First here, you notice we have a threaded barrel now. So you can run a compensator on there or a suppressor, either one. Very nice front slide serrations, very bitey, very usable. Rear, nice rear slide serrations. The optics plate itself is cut to match the rear slide serrations. It's got a nice Patriot Brown color. I did look that up too. This is actually called Patriot Brown. Nice blacked out suppressor height sights. I'm not sure how I feel about, about the blacked out sights. Um, I'm, I'm really not, I don't know about that. I may end up changing that front sight or uh, putting a little, a little dab of some, maybe some, uh, some white paint on there or some orange or yellow or whatever I feel like, who knows but putting some on there just, just for side acquisition between the two. Normally you see a fiber optic on the front, but these are Glock compatible sights, front and rear. So the sight options are endless on these. Moving down to the frame, we do have a very nice flat dark earth molded frame. It is a solid molded flat dark earth. It is not Cerakoted. Up front, we've got the Picatinny rail for all your lights, lasers, bags of chips, I prefer combos when I go to the range. I like to hang a bag of combos off of here and have a little munchie while I'm shooting. You do get a little thirsty out there all day for the, for the food and the water. So here's walk on down here. We've got your traditional slide lock, slide release. You got your traditional takedown, very, um, very G wordish, like a lot of firearms now. You know, if you don't own a, one of those G words, um, a lot of firearms are styled after them. They did become very, very popular and still are. Very, very nice texture on the grip. Now, the grip does not have texture all the way around it, but the texture that's on it is excellent. Excellent, excellent feel. It bites very nice. Um, it's almost reminiscent of the MMP 2.0 in the sections that it does have texture on the back, front, and side panels of the firearm itself. Got a nice little logo mold in there for the Taurus Bull. That's a nice addition. Magwell on it is not flared in any way. It is a straightforward magwell. There is no interchangeable back straps. It is a this this fits you gun. Uh, they do offer different models with different grip sizes if this does not fit you. The magazine catch is reversible to the left side for the lefty side left hand shooters. But the gun is not completely ambidextrous as it does lack a slide lock release on the right side of the firearm itself. The trigger is a very wide polymer dingus based trigger. Yes, I like that word dingus. That's a dingus. Very easy. It's actually very, very smooth. It does have a long take up, but it's super smooth to the wall. I mean, wow, that is nice. So. Bring it back to the wall, break, reset is right there, which is about normal for a duty carry gun. 
So we're going to get the trigger gauge out and take a quick trigger pull of this and see what that is. We'll give it a little cock. I've got my hand dandy wheeler trigger pull gauge here. We've got it set to zero. We've got it cocked. We're going to go low on the trigger. See where it pulls to. That is showing six pounds. So we're going to cock it again. Now let me tell you what, when you're pulling this trigger, um, it does not feel like six pound trigger. It feels like it's got a nice, crisp, clean break. And again, we have a six pound trigger. I did find some aftermarket uh, springs and such for this to actually improve the trigger pull and get a flat faced um, take up reduction trigger in it. But very, very nice. Now the cool thing about this trigger is I think only Taurus does this. I'm not familiar with any other models or brands that do this. If there is, please let me know in the comments. But that is, it does have double strike capabilities. Now we are clear that if you pull the trigger and nothing goes bang, let it reset and you can pull it again. Now, I don't know how useful this is. I mean, we are taught to, to tap, rack, and eject a bad round and go on your way. But if you were in a situation and you may be in a panic mode and a round doesn't go off, this may, this may help you on a carry base. Hey, let's measure that. Let's measure that double trigger pull that um, double action, you know, because it's almost like a double single action. That's pulling at six pounds. That is really weird. We are going to cock that. We're going to try that, that single action pull again. If it's exactly the same, that is great, actually, because of training. And we got a five and a half pound pull time that time. Okay, so we're a five and a half, six pound pull. That's good. All right, let's get the book out and we'll go over some specifications of this. Okay, this firearm is chambered in 9mm Luger. It's got a capacity of 17 plus 1 rounds. Overall length is 7.28 inches. Overall height of 5.2 width 1.26. The weight with 17 rounds claimed is 25.36 ounces loaded. Sights are drift adjustable rear. It also has the optics plate on it, the Toro system, the, the Taurus optics ready option, I think is what it's called. The material is black tenifer coated alloy steel. Uh, the barrel is stainless steel and the grip is polymer. The finish um, is a actual plastic injected uh, FDE. And the accessory rail is a 1913 Picatinny style rail. The barrel length in the book is four inches, but having this extension and threaded barrel on here, that's probably going to take it out to about 4.6 inches, 4.5, 4.6. Very easy to take this off of it. Thread protector. Very nice looking barrel. No, no heavy crowning or anything, but we do have a threaded barrel on there with a protector. So that's what does that job for you. I'm very pleased with the overall looks of it. I'm very pleased with the feel of it. It feels good in the hand. It sits good in the hand. It's got a nice comfort. I can actually get my palm into here where, where I need it at or to acquire a nice grip and purchase on this firearm itself. So what we're going to do now is we're going to field strip it and to show you how to take it apart just for basic general maintenance and cleaning as the manual would instruct. The two springs that it comes with is one is for everyday factory rounds and one is for suppressor rounds. The blue one is for suppressor rounds and the green one is for factory rounds. So if you're going to run a suppressor on it, you're going to run a compensator, um, you would want to run the, the blue spring in there because of it being a lighter weight. Even though it is slightly longer, it is a lighter weight and you can also tell by the end caps on here. The common ammo is black. The suppressor ammo is going to be this FDE Brown. Nice little addition, don't you think? There's one other manufacturer that does this. Um, buddy of mine got one, and that's a Walther. The new Walther PVP Tactical comes with two recoil springs. I think it's very nice that Taurus being a more of a, a budget-friendly option, that you get both springs with this. What a plus.
make sure you put the right spring back in when you are reassembling. You know, the longer spring with the blue on it, that is for your suppressor. And this one with the green on the bottom is, uh, and the green also on the spring here, I don't know if you can see that green or not, but that one is for your common every day. So when we take this to the range, we'll be using common every day. Get that on there right. Put your spring back on there. Reassemble as normal. Check function. Good to go. Very nice piece. There'll be a lot more videos to come with this firearm featured into it because I'm going to start using this as a test unit. So I'm going to get some other some other parts to upgrade this, and I'm going to use this for a test mule for lights, lasers, and optics, um, and other parts that will fit this, even sights. I do like, really like that it has suppressor height sights, so co-witnessing with an optic is not going to be a problem with this out of the box. So you can pick these up online, all kinds of little variances of prices, but these are so economical, and you get so much in the package. You get a really nice case. You get two 17 round magazines. The other magazines for it are not expensive either. You can find those around and about on the internet. It comes with another spring for if you're gonna run a compensator or suppressor onto it. I think it's a fabulous package. So when I see it and gave me the price on it, I just couldn't pass it up. So I wanted to share this today with you, my pupils, you guys, everyone that watches this video. So we're going to do some more uh, testing with this. We're going to take it to the range. We'll take you with us to, to the range. Uh, we're going to get a dot in. Uh, we got a new red dot coming in for review. So we're going to put that on there and take it to the range and just do some shooting videos with it. And I'll show you the upgrades I've done to it and be using it as the test, as the test mule. All right, my pupils, that's all I got for you today. I hope you appreciate it and like this video. I love making videos for all you people out there. So if you would, if you're watching this please give me a subscribe if you're not already subscribed give me a like turn on the bell notifications you can always unsubscribe unsubscribe later you can always turn the bell notifications off if you don't like the content you find out you just don't care for it that's okay we got choices all right my pupils that's all i got for you today always remember to keep blowing the smoke you're getting a two hand today <laughs>